my fifth one in 20 days. This store shouldn't be closing. I'm sorry that all your stores are closing. That really sucks. But I have uh, some thoughts about what to do with all of these empty buildings once once everything once capitalism completely collapses this is something that I've been hoping for for a long time this is something I've been singing and dancing for for a long time you see money is a lie all lies will fall as leaves from a tree. It is inevitable. It cannot be sustained. All of everything that you need already exists. You have so much stuff, you don't even know what to do with it all. We don't know how to manage it all. It's too much. We don't even need to make anything anymore. Not really. Unless it's to make things from other things that already exist. We even have more art than we know what to do with. Where are the places to hang the art? There aren't enough walls. <laughs> well, in places like this, of course. So many collectors of so many different things. Some people need things and other people don't need things. So we use these old stores these old warehouses, and we use them for display and storage, as you would a store, only instead of paying for them, we come in and we take what we like, or we just walk through and window shop, just like you would a museum, just to look at all the different things, as people like to do. We don't need to pay for things anymore. That's a lie. It's a lie we continue to perpetuate. We could just share and be free and be awesome. The illusion of money, that it has power over us, that it's necessary when it's a lie, is what keeps people in subjugation. It's why there are homeless encampments. It's because of money. If money didn't exist, everyone would have a place to sleep and a roof over their head and plenty to eat and clothes and hygiene. <laughs> we would just take care of people because it's the right thing to do. It's really very simple, although they will tell me that I'm crazy, that I'm delusional, that I'm living in my own world, but my world is beautiful, but yours, hmm, look at it, I am showing you and telling you what it could be, I can't force you to do it. But your ways are ending regardless. So choose. Choose how you would respond to the destruction. Choice point. Pivot point of experiential awareness. We could set up things like this in every community where... Take what you need, leave what you no longer need. 
that are very simple, much like food pantries or clothes closets at churches, but more expansive. You could do it for building supplies, to repair your home, you can do it for holiday accessories like Christmas, oh my god, so much Christmas stuff and Halloween stuff. You could make a museum of it. Humans have made so much stuff. We can't possibly use it all. We can't possibly need it all. So what are we going to do with it? I suggest that's what we do with it. May all your pent-up potential awesomeness be made part of it.